Well, the upcoming winter months are the busiest at many car washes, but one that recently opened in Erie County aims at having customers enjoy every visit, no matter the season. And while you pay for car washes, there's a lot of free incentives. We're taking you to Mod Wash for this week's Giving You the Business segment, sponsored by the Erie Regional Chamber and Growth Partnership. Working at the car wash, yeah. A light show and a car wash, all at one time. Really an experience. That's what Mod Wash is described as. And this water droplet is the company symbol to show the business can make a ripple effect in the community. We like to make a difference in somebody's day uh, by a simple wave, uh, a, a simple smile. That's right, there's always team members on site to get you through the process and showcase positive reinforcement. In just three years, the Tennessee-based company is adding more locations, including this region. Erie County resident Stephen Four is the general manager of the West 26th Street location in Mill Creek. We do have one in, on Buffalo Road. Uh, we have this one existing now. Uh, their Meadville's gonna open in December. Ashtabula opened October of 22. After a vehicle gets cleaned on the outside, there's 18 bays available to clean the inside, including a free machine to wash and dry mats. After you wash and dry your mats for free, you can take your car over here and use the mat holder to clip your mat. There's also a claw with a great suction, along with this crevice cleaner that will take just about any crumb from your vehicle. Air compressor also offered, and again, for free, glass cleaner too. Need a towel? There's complimentary microfiber ones on site. Not much free in the world today, so it uh, allows me to detail my car and take my grand old time and uh, get everything I need to get. Mod Wash memberships are also available at different prices. Team members can help with that too. Or just see you through a day of wash on a sunny or any other type of day. And even it's perfect timing, it will come in handy probably starting tomorrow. It sure will. As you can see, we were there on a very sunny day just a few days ago. All right, what's coming up now on Erie News Now Digital at 5.30? Well, Mike, in the next half hour, we're finding out those details on who was charged in connection to the inmate escape at the Warren County Prison this summer. Plus, the star power attached to 3D printed parts for a 1932 Ford vehicle done by local students. And we'll also have the details on that tentative deal between the UAW and General Motors. Erie Digital News Now at 530 is coming up next. Stay with us.